Tour Lavanier Stage 7 was a summit finish, uh, which was up to Saint-Francois Longchamp. Sorry, uh, my French pronunciation is not the best in the world. Uh, but anyway, they sort of got the Col de Madeleine, which is, as we can see it on the screen here, uh, is a decent climb. Uh, it's pretty pretty steady, 15k, 8%. It's not the whole Madeleine climb, and it's a slightly different bit to the sort of like classic bit, uh, classic climb that you'd do um, if you've done it. But anyway, you can see France here on the front, absolutely drilling it. And look on your right hand side, who is it? But Kian Uthbrooks, people getting dropped left, right, and center. The GC hadn't really been decided too much. Um, you know, there were people all more or less the same time. The team time trial was capped for two minutes of uh, time loss. So nothing too crazy, but you can see here Antoine Davan is getting dropped. Behind, you've got the favourites group who sort of contain all the people you would expect them to contain, except maybe Gloag and Hater, like uh, Pinzoli, uh, Ryan Archie, Jonas Stalmitten and Matas Vacek. But anyway, big man here, Ute Brooks, goes on the attack and wow, oh wow. Like, he's put in a big gap straight away. Like, that is a large, large gap. Now, people are trying to get across. The French riders trying to get across. Lenny Martinez was a bit disappointing today. He didn't seem to have the legs. But you can see we got another French lad who was trying to bridge across here. Now, he was not... I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure this was Roman Gregoire, to be honest. Um, but he, I think, pays for this acceleration a lot. Because Keanu Brooks was on a different level today. Um, you can see here everyone else is sort of sitting in. Um, this lad is looking good to be fair. Like, you know, it's, it's not a bad move following the strongest guy on the road, but I assume at this point, you know, you're probably looking down, seeing the numbers, and it's like, yeah, it's, it's not going to happen today. So, ultimately, Kian Uther Brooks was just so strong. We'll, we'll talk about his numbers in a minute. You can see he's now dropped this French rider. And Kian Uther Brooks rode this quicker uh, than they did in the tour. So, all in all, um, we don't actually have the data of Uther Brooks, but we have the data of um, of Pinanzoli, who did 360 watts, uh, which was about 6 watts per kilo. We also have Michael Hessman as well, uh, who also did a significant amount of watts as well. Um, you can see we sort of hopped to front to Kian Uther Brooks basically taking a win uh, because there was not too much in between uh, the two riders you can see here rounding the corners towards the end. Uh, Cold Madeleine is a lovely climb if you're ever in the area. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, and uh, Michael Hasman did a little less. He said 5.3. But um, the calculations seem to be that Kian Luther Brooks was doing about 6 to 6.1 watts per kilo uh, on this climb for 40 minutes. And yeah, it was, was quicker than they were on the tour. This was using the tour stage um, about before the Cold de la Loz stage uh, two years ago. Um, and there's Kian Luther Brooks taking a massive, massive win. And um, yeah, so used in the Col de la Loz stage a couple of years ago is re really interesting. So here's Pinanzoli and Michael Hasman coming uh, basically in the same time together. Um, uh, Pinanzoli actually is super, super strong and um, looks really, really good. But who is Kian Uther Brooks could be your question. He writes with broad hands, grow should be allowed in Lavanier. I don't know. Let me know your comments below. I think World Tour riders shouldn't be allowed. Uh, but he is signed straight from the juniors, uh, similar to Remco Evenepoel. And he's a really, really promising young rider and someone who I think has a super strong uh, future, obviously, after this performance. But even before this performance, like his top results, 8th Tour of Norway this year, 3rd Sibiu Cycling Tour GC, 16th GC Tour of Alps, 10th um, in some stages. He hasn't, he hasn't got a win yet, but shows really, really promising uh, performances all year, to be honest. And I think he's one of those guys who's going to be super strong. You can see Penadzoli has managed to drop Michael Hessman coming in to the final little bit. Uh, so yeah, it's um an interesting Tour de Lavenir stage. So then if we're going to look at the GC now, the GC has changed significantly. Kian Uther Brooks is in the lead, um, well, is not in the lead, sorry, by 11 seconds because he got done for a bottle. Um, he took a bottle off a spectator. I'll, I'll show that video now. Um, but yeah, like halfway up the climb, see Michael Hessman, who actually goes into the lead um, due to the team time, the gaps after the team time trial. Um, but yeah, I'll show you that video and he, yeah, he took the bottle from a spectator, uh, which was not allowed. Um, so anyway, here's the rest of the people coming in, like Archie Ryan, uh, Jonas Dalmitten, um, and some of the other ones, uh, who are turning up just there. But anyway, super strong performance, uh, from all these young guys. Um, but especially Keanu Brooks, who rode that one minute 16 quicker than David Piganzoli. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.